I finally finished playing Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered and wow, what an amazing game and overall experience it was. But while the game was amazing, it still had its flaws. One of them being the boss fights. The boss fights themselves aren't bad. There just aren't that many to begin with and the few that we do get start off so well until you realize that you're just doing the same moves over and over and over again with nothing really that stands out besides a few moments here and then that's an issue that i hope will be addressed in the upcoming sequel especially with how much hype is surrounding it one easy way i think could help the issue is utilizing spider-man's rogues galleries to its full potential spider-man up to this point has been swinging around in the insomniac universe for over a decade so there is a lot that insomniac themselves could do and play around with to make this happen especially with one how big spider-man's rogues gallery is and two how long he has been around Today I want to talk about the top 5 bosses that I would love to see in Marvel Spider-Man 2. Coming in at number 5, Hydro Man. Morris Bench was accidentally knocked overboard while stationed on his ship during a battle between Spider-Man and Namor. Morris fell into the ocean where a powerful experimental generator was being tested. This led to his transformation into Hydro Man, who, blaming Spider Man for what happened to him, turned to a life of crime seeking revenge against the Web Slinger. And to keep it oversimplified, he can control all types of water as long as he is close to it. And the way they could really make this happen is if you take a look at the gameplay review trailer, the event itself was going on by the shore, by where all the water is, so that can you can easily implement something there to make that happen. With today's technology, one, you could easily make that happen, and two, it would be so cool. Coming in at number four, we have the Sandman. A shapeshifter endowed through an accident with the ability to turn himself into sand. He started out as a regular reoccurring adversary and villain for Spider-Man, but in the comics has slowly redeemed over and uh, turned over to being more of an anti-hero. The character in its right is iconic, appearing in video games, movies, and things of that nature. I would love to see him in Marvel Spider-Man 2, given the fact that he already exists in Marvel Spider-Man 2. If you guys take a look and uh, have played the game or seen, you collect one of the backpacks and there's actually a vial with a sandman trapped in there which you can make that very easy to bring him in um he could find a way out or the symbiote itself could sense life in that vial and set him free trying to use the sandman as a host but because the sandman itself is sand probably can't like and things of that those are just a few ideas from me a casual i'm sure that insomniac could come up with anything much better coming in at number three we have mysterio another villain that already exists in the insomniac universe of spider-man a special effects expert and stuntman who came to see his career as a dead end his attempt at becoming an actor being met with poor reception back realizing that his expertise in special effects would make him a capable supervillain donned the role of Mysterio and went to the Daily Bugle newspaper announcing that he would bring the hated Spider-Man to his knees. And you already know, J. Jonah Jameson has a hard boner for hate in Spider-Man. So obviously, he was all for that. Another iconic villain who reoccurring villain for spider-man and has even joined the sinister six up to a point in the comics another villain that imagine if like that one scene from spider-man no way home if we can have an event like that a sequence like that my mind can only imagine all these things but i would love for it to come to reality because one, the villain already exists, and I'm sure that they're not just gonna do a quick mention to just do nothing with the character. 
there's a lot of liberties that they could take here and i would love to see what they come up with coming in at number two we have morbius another character that already exists in the insomniac universe of spider-man if you don't know morgan michaels is one of the aliases that morbius dons throughout his years in the comics he's basically a super genius who had this genetic disorder in his blood and believing in the cure lying in bat dna turned himself into a damn bat so another one that ranges from villain to anti-hero from time to time and yet another one that honestly i think would make a fantastic villain especially with one of these trailers revealing that spider-man can use wings now and fly imagine the chase scenes we could have with morbius me personally insomniac please make it happen i know that you're not putting him in the game for no reason so please cook up something nice and coming in at number one. What is this? Peter Parker as Venom. What? a challenge for miles would it be if it is up to him and if he is the only one that could get to peter parker and knock him out of this venom phase me personally not only would that be such a challenge but it is the defining moment that makes him a spider-man obviously he's had those already but none like defeating the man himself possessed in a way by the Venom symbiote. Me personally, I think that is a way to make so many cool things happen, but open the door for even more things in the future. That's where I'm gonna leave it. Uh, that was the list of the five villains I'd love to see. Obviously, we've had a few confirmed, like Mr. Negative in the trailer, Venom, obviously, Craven, obviously, you know, Wraith, Grizzly, stuff like that. But these are the five that we haven't really had any confirmation for. And I feel like if they were in the game, even if it was just side bosses, hidden content, that would be so cool. Given the fact with how big this map is going to be, how big this game is probably going to be. It would be very nice to see these things come to the fold, if not now, maybe in the future. But yeah, if you guys like these type of countdown, sit back and just talk videos, just hit that like button. Feel free to comment, share and subscribe. What did you think of this list? What is your top 10 list? And I will see y'all next time. Peace out.